The Olden World Written by Tsar Yoshi Chapter 613 The Last Battle Valise stepped out of the shadows and into the arena, the early evening sun barely cresting the Colosseum Bowl. How stood to the side, someone had informed him, but this battle would speak for itself. Morina was waiting. Hey! Valise stepped into the arena, nodding in respect. Looks like you've been crying. Morina didn't wait for an official invitation to attack. Her thick, fur-collared battle cloak left her back like an ascending bird as she flew forward, moving her muscled bulk with far more grace than Wallace before her. A hoof hooked out, grappling for Valet, and Valet grappled back, throwing them both into a mid-air spin. Valet added her momentum to it rather than resisting, and Marina landed with her on top, bouncing toward the edge of the arena. Would I ever want to hide it? Marina spoke as she rolled, constitution so strong that she could control her breathing and speak even as she was pounded against the ground. You were there yesterday. You saw my daughter return. And you know your role in it. Valet jumped off before Marina could take control again of the spin and crush her herself. Marina followed her into the air, a long buried fire in her eyes, as she brought about a double hoofed slam to drop Valet back to the stage. Yeah, I do, Valet panted, swishing to the side and diving to hit Marina as she landed. I got lugged across the continent so that Wendigo could show off that it was looking for Melia and wanted to change. Marina rolled when she hit the ground, countering Valet's dive with a punch. Valet blocked the punch with a blow of her own, throwing all her force behind a hoof strike, then pumping her wings to dive past it, drawing a punch with her other hoof for Marina's face. But do you know my role? Marina took the punch with a headbutt, flipping onto her forehoofs and bringing a kick around with her hind legs to pin Valet to the ground. The journeys I've made and the places I've searched, from the forests and cliffs of Mistvale to Varsidel's war-torn heart? Yeah! Valet grabbed her dropping leg, swinging around and slamming both rear hooves into Marina's fixed side. It's awesome dedication! I feel for you having someone you do that much of anything for! Marina skidded, taking the blow without falling over and breaking apart from Valet. Hmm... Huh? Valet didn't approach, raising an eyebrow. In another age, at another time, Wallace and Diego and I were a completely different group of adventurers, Marina narrated, slowly walking forward before launching herself at Valet again. Valet planted her hooves and caught the tackle, prying her grasping forelimbs apart and trying to take the grapple war despite being half as big as she was. We discovered for the sake of discovery. New horizons were all the reward we needed. Marina gritted her teeth as Valet refused to go down, twisting her to the side. It was a happy time. Yeah! Valet broke her stance, lunging with a hind leg and driving it into Marina's belly as she was thrown toward the ground. At the last moment, she used the pressure from holding apart her adversary's grip to shoot beneath Marina entirely, launching several more slams and pummels at her underside as she scooted between her hind legs. And that's why she grabbed Marina's tail, converting all that momentum in a circle, slamming down with both forehoofs and sending Marina crashing to the ground. It stinks what happened to you! Marina bounced, flipping over as she came back and catching Valet with a hoof before she could dart away. Would you understand? She growled, slapping Valet in a circle, knocking her wings with calculated precision and stopping her from flipping away. The pain of losing that? The fire of looking for something rather than looking for anything. For six long and empty years? Pow! She finished juggling Valet with a mighty punch, not bothering with a buck. One forehoof sending Valet flying towards the edge of the arena. Valet bounced and skidded, coming to a heap near the edge and rapidly rising before anyone could time her out. Six years? Valet spat, tasting blood, and wiped a hoof across her muzzle. Nah. My six years were spent a lot more pointlessly than that. But I do know about looking for something. She climbed upright, brushing off her bruises, and nodded. Tell me, Marina sat and spread her forelegs. It was clear the invitation wasn't to tell her with words. Yeah! Valet wound up a soaring strike of her own, kicking off from the wooden floor and speeding straight toward Marina. A single hoof punch met her, Marina mirroring her tactics from before, and Valet beat her wings in a test of will, refusing to be pushed back, just as Marina refused to budge. This tournament can make wishes come true, Marina warned, pressing back against Valet's force. One wish every year for how many millions of citizens? Wallace has told you before, I'm telling you now. She dropped her hoof with a sudden twitch, reaching around to slam Valet from below. 
Valet rolled to dodge and Marina immediately switched, coming down from above. Valet hit the ground on her back, all four legs extended, as Marina bore down on her with two huge forehoves. Hearing you loud and clear, she growled, bracing herself against the ground to force away the mare who was spinning her. Wallace's heart, Diego's heart, my heart, all three of us beating as one. Marina stared into her, applying just enough force to keep Valet down. Our will and determination was unstoppable. Show me you understand what this means. Rah! Valet pulled in her legs, then surged, throwing Marina off her just enough to dart free. You want me to show you what it means? She dug in a hind leg and pivoted, counterattacking with a flurry of unblocked blows to Marina's head. Here's what it means! Throwing herself into a flip, Valet vaulted over Marina, only to find her opponent ready. A purple hoof kicked her back halfway across the arena, and Valet skidded, landing upright. It means every single one of the fighters beyond this point wants something so badly, it gives them super equine strength, doesn't it? You guys may have had your wish granted, but now I'm going on, and you're not going to let me go without a fight. It means more than that, Marina stomped, main lifting briefly in an intangible wind. Everything we fought for all these years, my two best friends and I, it was you and your friends that answered our dream. What happens to that fire of purpose now, Admiral Valet of Einridge? Where does it go? Where does it go, Valet countered, watching for an opening that wasn't going to come. What are you doing now, standing in my way? You hurt puddles. You don't need to wish for Goshiva to fix her anymore and bananas if you're paying back his volley for their help if you go down there and find they weren't actually helping. Marina grew tired of waiting and lunged, flying towards Valet again like she had Pegasus' blood in her ancestry. Are we standing in your way, Valet? She growled lowly, hitting Valet and rolling as they once again vied for dominance. Or are we waiting for you to add us to your path? Hopes and dreams have physical force. Wallace believes that with everything he has. This time, Marina won the grapple, punching Valet hard and slamming her against the ground before belly flopping atop her. Reacting instinctively, Valet tried to duck into her shadow, but Marina never hit the ground. Landing with her hooves surrounding her, Marina pressed herself atop Valet, pinning her to the ground, but never with more force than she could bear. Before Puddles was even fooled, Marina rumbled, forcing Valet's head out to meet her eyes. When I was a lost teenager with no future and the wrong friends, with an unborn daughter and a fear of my parents' disapproval, with a world of piracy to the west and Wallace beckoning me to his side, that's what he said. So show me the force of your dream. You took your heart's fire and helped give us what we yearned truest for. Now show me why we should add ours to yours. Valet's cutie mark activated, and for a moment, it was like she could see Marina rearing back to strike at her. Flash! With a spark in her eyes, Valet lunged as Marina rose, ducking sideways around the incoming stomp and smashing her forehead into Marina's chin. She let her hooves answer for her, not backing down, flitting from side to side as Marina squared her stance and swiped at her, juking and dodging through punch after punch, returning fire with her own blows aimed straight at Marina's head. How? A gray hoof bounced off a purple one, Marina deflecting a blow. Do you like? An entire foreleg shot past Valet's ear, pressing it against her skull from proximity. This! Wham! Valet launched an uppercut into Marina's chest, instantly following it up with a second and then a third. Her hooves nearly windmilled into the blows, first lifting Marina off balance and then entirely off the ground. Valet pounced upwards, spiraling as she continued to juggle hoof strike after hoof strike, finally outpacing her adversary's rise and locking her into another grapple. You looked for a way to help Puddles for six years? Valet's eyes burned into Marina's in midair, the world tumbling around them. That's some crazy dedication! I hope I don't have to do that, but if I have to, I will, and ten times over to find what I'm looking for. We're going home. All my friends and I are going to find somewhere we can live together in peace exactly the way we want to, with no heretic rules or angry gods or crazy politicians or ancient monsters. And if we can't find somewhere, we're going to build it. That's Dolly's dream. That's Maple's dream. It'll be a place where your past and your origin don't matter, and that's my dream and Puddles the Windigos too. It'll be a place built with the lessons of the past and memory of what's lost, and it'll help Shinespark bring back her own home in Anridge because that's her dream too. You happy with that? She punched her. Are you? Valet punched her again. Just try to stop us. Instantly, Marina was grappling her again as gravity returned and they finished the apex of their flight beginning to fall. 
Her eyes burned with a silent understanding. Prove it. They landed locked together, each with a hold on the other and unable to rise. Is that the answer you would have given me yesterday, Marina asked, unable to get off her side, or the day before? Is your goal something that's burnt into your heart, or can you only articulate it on the spot? Yeah, Valet gritted her teeth. Nah, I'm pretty sure I've changed how to describe it three or four times since I entered this tournament. You want the truth, girl? I have no idea what I'm wishing for if I win. Day to day, how I describe what I'm doing is gonna change. But the feeling in it has always been the same. I'm doing this for my friends because I care about them really bad. When I'm at the top, I'll figure something out. But even the act of raising a hoof doesn't matter if it's against a gladiator or a proper monster can get that across. They're watching. They're not hearing this, but they're seeing. And what they're seeing me saying is, I'm doing this for you. A cause after Wallace's own heart, Marina's grip slackened. I owe that Griffin everything, you know. He can be stupidly optimistic and sentimental at times. Rubbed it off on me, too. All right, Twitch Granter. Suddenly, she broke Valet's grasp, straightened up and took Valet with her, then threw her to the other side of the arena. One last time, come at me. You fought for us. You got us what we were fighting for. Now, we'll fight for you. Come and get it. Valet narrowed her eyes. Marina wasn't moving. So by the code of battle they had established together, she spread her wings, spread her forelegs, and rocketed into Marina for another attempt at a grapple. Marina caught her in a deep, gentle hug. There, Marina said after a while, standing perfectly on the edge of the platform. It barely took a kick for Valet to knock her off. Marina hit the ground with a puff of dust, waiting several seconds to right herself, with Valet watching from above. The purple mare nodded to Howe, turned her back on Valet, and slowly proceeded toward her exit, not looking back. You win. Valet stood, ears gradually folding, as the crowd's noise intensified above her. End of chapter 613